maybe one of the worst announcements of that type that I've ever seen. I'd be embarrassed if that were work from my company. B team here today, Darkstar on the road tied up. Uh, wanted to get a quick comment here on the Jay Monahan news that came out yesterday. So Jay will be stepping aside uh, with a medic because of a medical situation. Um, I read that and having written some things like that, press releases and things that are strategized about ad nauseum, uh, maybe one of the worst announcements of that type that I've ever seen. I'd be embarrassed if that were work from my company. Um, whoever put it together, the team of people, because it was a team that did it, probably three people, um, would never write another thing. I, I, baffling, absolutely baffling. Let, two, two possibilities. It's real, it's true. Okay, that's incredibly coincidental. I don't like coincidences, and I'm sure most of you don't either. Or it's fake, designed to get Jay out of the way. We'll go with B, get Jay out of the way for now, for a little while at least. Maybe that's leading to something else. Maybe it isn't, uh, who knows. You can't rule out that it's real. Um, however, let's parse it a little bit just for a minute. It's a short video today. If it were real, would you be as um, non-transparent as you were with your wording? First of all, right off the top, if you go, you have to read the actual announcement from the PGA Tour, not reporting on it. Medical stepping aside are the words stepping aside and medical situation, and then immediately followed by request for privacy. Okay, so what that, <laughs> obviously what that means is he's out. He's not just, you know, recovering from something for a few days and he'll be back. He's stepping aside, which means somebody else is going to do his job. And they go on to tell you who that is, the, the COO and the other guy, two guys. Okay, uh, huh. And medical situation, not... Any other details? Normally, you know, we're sad to announce that uh, he's been fighting, battling a, a disease of some kind. You don't have to name it necessarily, but no, didn't do that. Medical situation, which means nothing, essentially. Um, and then the request for privacy, which really means don't ask any questions. Please, don't ask any questions because we're not going to answer your questions. So, and then, <laughs> and that was in the first paragraph, essentially, maybe first two paragraphs. So that's in the first 20 seconds of the reader reading this announcement. Then the whole rest of the piece, which goes on and on for another five or six paragraphs, another couple of minutes of reading, is fluff. It's 100% fluff. We are committed to our players. We are committed to the process. We care for our players. We're 100%. We're so excited. Let's talk about the Canadian Open that just happened and how exciting that was. And let's talk about the U.S. Open coming up and how exciting that'll be, even though it's not our tournament. Uh, and that's it. So because of that, we we have to we're forced here at thinking man show to believe that it's fake okay uh i probably would have just sent jay to siberia and not mentioned it if it, if i were ed uh hurley chairman of the board but making it a silly announcement to get him out of the way is i, I don't know i don't i don't see what purpose that serves doesn't make me look strong makes me look weak uh, doesn't make me doesn't instill confidence in the players. They would be having all the same questions that we're having. So it it it's it's undermining um, at best, and that's the opposite of what you're trying to do is build confidence at the particular time when you're trying to also say that you're going to run this new deal with the uh, with the with the PIF and Saudi Arabia's investment. Which okay, so we mentioned in our show last week on the uh, the deal announcement. We're not going to use the M word for merger because that's true. That's not, it's not a merger. That's what everybody's calling it because, okay, it's, it seems like that, but it's not. It's a joint venture, at least with the little bit that we know so far. And that's probably what it would be. It's a new entity they're creating and putting things into it uh, to work together on very specific things that have to do with each of their independent businesses that are going to remain independent according to the announcement. It says that in the announcement that Live, PGA Tour, and DP World Tour will continue to operate their tours. It says that, and that makes sense, of course. We won't get into that now, uh, but 
uh, what if this is fake, what does it mean? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Well, we mentioned in that video last week about the deal, Jay being present is counterproductive. Why? Because he has to answer questions. He's the CEO the, of, of the PGA Tour and the, the, you know, the daily operations. He's all over it. He's the face of the PGA Tour in addition to being the CEO and presumably intimately involved in all aspects of the operation. So he's going to get some uncomfortable questions. What, what's your financial situation? What, what, why are you doing this deal? More and more and more questions are going to be hounding him day to day to day. He won't be able to talk about anything about golf uh, about what the PGA Tour wants everybody to focus on until he answers all these questions. So what do you do? Get him out of the way. Go away. You need to go on vacation. Do you have a place in the south of France? If you could just go there for a few months, that'd be terrific, Jay, because if you're here, it's going to look silly if you refuse to answer questions like some people do that should be able to answer questions. Um, so you, you have to answer. And if you don't want to answer, you're not going to look, it's not going to look right. It's going to make us look weak. We don't want that. We want to seem like we're in charge of this new deal with Piff. So how do we make you go away? We'll give you a medical condition and you just fade away and maybe you come back. Maybe you don't. Uh, but that's quickly what we think. More on this issue when Dark Star is ready to talk in more detail. Appreciate it. We'll be back to you soon. We don't charge for our videos. We don't tease you with some of the information and then make you go somewhere else and buy the good stuff. We want to help. We want to help. So we just give it all to you right here. And if you'd like to maybe give us a buck or two, that would be awesome. We're on Venmo. It's super easy. Just hit us up there, connect, and whatever you, whatever you want to do. We love it. We appreciate it.